ဒီနေ့ဆရာမာတို့ဆက်လက်လေးလာကြရမဲ့တင်ခဲ့စာကတတ်မတဲ့စနစ်တစ်တိတ်ပန်းအခန်းသုံးယိုးပွားခြင်
This double fertilization event occurs between the male reproductive organ, the male gametophyte, and the female reproductive organ, the female gametophyte. Before the fertilization event can occur, the ovule has to undergo some changes. At present, the ovule contains one reproductive cell known as the megaspore or mother cell. This cell is diploid and undergoes meiosis, producing four haploid megaspores. In the majority of species, three of these megaspores degenerate, leaving only one surviving megaspore. This surviving megaspore expands and undergoes three rounds of mitosis to produce eight haploid nuclei. As the nuclei have not developed any individual division, they initially share the same cytoplasm. This complete structure is known as the embryo sac. Within the established embryo sac, cell walls begin to form between most of the nuclei. Three cells named antipodal cells form opposite the opening of the ovule, known as the micropyle. Another three cells form above the micropyle. Two of these are synergids and the other is the egg cell. This leaves two nuclei in the center of the ovule. These central nuclei remain together in one large cell. It is the egg cell and this central nucleate cell which will eventually become part of the double fertilization event. In order for the double fertilization event to occur, the male gametes, the sperm, must travel from the anther to the embryo sac within the female reproductive organ. The pollen grain contains two main cells. A cell named the tube cell makes up the bulk of the pollen grain and the sperm cell, which at this stage is known as the generative cell. To reach the embryo sac, a pollen grain must land on the stigma. Once landed, it begins to germinate. The tube cell forms a long structure down the style and into the ovary. The generative cell travels behind the tube cell nucleus. Once near the ovary, it divides by mitosis to produce two haploid sperm cells. The pollen tube reaches the micropyle and releases the sperm cells into the embryo sac. One of the two sperm cells fertilizes the egg cell. This produces a diploid zygote, which will become the embryo. The other sperm cell moves up and fuses with both of the central nuclei, forming a triploid cell. This unusual triploid cell develops into an endosperm and serves as the embryo's food supply during early development. It is only angiosperms, flowering plants, which have this double fertilization characteristic, where a diploid zygote and a triploid endosperm form. Gymnosperms, pines, tracheophytes, ferns, and non-tracheophytes, mosses, lack this double fertilization feature. The video file is a little bit of 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 a little ไซควีเรปอนะไมโตซิสนี่เนี่ยไซควีเรคามาตัวนิวคลีเอสชิคุสุบิเทียร์ไอ้ผิดปอลาเรนิวคลีเอสชิคุกะบโลติชิจาต
ပါလေဆိုရင်မာကမိနော်အဲ့ဒီလိုမျိုးအဆင်းဆင်ဆဲကွဲပြီးတော့ဖြစ်ပေါ်လာတာပါနောက်ထပ်နှစ်ခုက
ဟိုကမိနက်မာကမီတို့ပေါင်းစတာကိုတိုင်အောင်ခြင်းလို့ခေါ်တဲ့ဆိုတဲ့အချက်ပဲဖြစ်ပါတယ်ဒုတိယအ